Thank you. Now, I will start very simply by saying what you all think tonight. Don't trust anyone. <laughs> See, this doesn't even work. I trusted it. Yeah. So, cooperation is widespread in the animal kingdom. Here we have a herd of GNU cooperating with zebra to spot eventual predators in the savanna. With cooperation comes great dickishness. <laughs> when you cooperate, you risk being lied to, abused, or just hindered by the incompetence of your friend. So, I mean, an evolutionary biologist, but not cooperating, you win every time. An evolutionary biologist would say, oh, well, you just have to remember who are dicks. But, as I did not know, and Mr. Hodgson brilliantly um, demonstrated, humans have really bad memory. And furthermore, they're tainted with emotions. I mean, raise your hand if a friend has ever lied to you. Yeah, and he's still your friend. See? Point proven. <laughs> For instance, I told my friends they were going to have a fun time tonight. Also, I took like Viner, I was make a good presentation, so I'm two for two. But so, why do we keep trusting others since we keep getting hurt? Well, we should expand our definition of we to include what's really inside us. Something else. Not the obvious opposite from alien. No, no, our friends, parasites. <laughs> so that's a hypothesis. A parasite makes us trust others because when we trust others, it increases its chance of spreading. <laughs> now, I'll just start with a simple example. This is Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma is a parasite that lives in cats. Oh, another team of tonight. How surprising. <laughs> Toxoplasma. Toxoplasma gets shat by the cat, and then the shit gets eaten by mice. The mice then get manipulated by, toxoplasm by the toxoplasm in thinking that cat urine is actually really, really sexy. They get sexually aroused by its secret and end up being devoured by the cat. So the parasite finishes its life cycle back in the cat, the cat's out of the bag, and the mice they are dead. <laughs> so you think, yeah, it's a mouse, a mouse is done. Well, wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the mouse is not the only one affected. Humans, for instance, have also a highly prevalent rate of toxoplasma. Around one in four humans are infected. And we see humans forming a symbiotic relationship with cats. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> now, we, it leaves the question, what is the transmission mechanism? Well, think about it. When you really trust someone, what is the, what is the what is the main goal of a relationship? That's right, exchanging your precious bodily fluids. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, spit mostly. <laughs> so, how would it go in human? Well, there are a variety of situations in which you trust somebody, they deceive you, and you expel fluid. For instance, your friend puts something gross in your drink, like salt. You drink it. <laughs> that was spit, not a fart, spit. Congratulations, you just released plenty of bacteria in the atmosphere. Amazing. Second time, you remember that night at the pub? Well, maybe you don't, but that's another issue. Yeah, you know that your friend told you, no, don't worry, buddy, you can still drink another one. Well, you couldn't, and you barfed your whole gastrointestinal intestinal tract out, spreading even more bacteria. Example numero tres. That... Indian restaurant. You know exactly which one I'm talking about. You trusted the waiter. Well, too bad for you. <laughs> you spread out fecal matter everywhere. And it, this is correlated also with, in con with countries with poor hygiene, which means that it doesn't go in the toilet. It goes all around you. It's wonderful, really. Most appreciable. Now, example number four, the breakup. When you break up, Oh, by the way, Google defines crying as very great. I don't know what's wrong with Google. <laughs> when you break up, you end up emitting snot and tears. You trusted that person. They say they can no longer trust you. Congratulations, you're now emitting lacrimal fluid everywhere. Now, I, I guess we have overwhelming evidence of the theory now. We keep trusting others when we should know better. Parasites manipulate our behavior as was shown by Toxoplasma. 
Fluid gets expelled when we trust people. Parasites are responsible for trust mechanisms. <laughs> now, just a little tidbit. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame parasiti. <laughs> Do you have any questions? <laughs>